Hello there. Welcome back. Well, I've finished the table and the chairs, and in this video, I'm going to show you how I prepped, stained, and put a clear coat on this table. Stick around to the end, and I'll show you how to make this table glass smooth with a grocery bag. So let's get started. Before I sand and stain, the individual pieces need chamfers. I'll be using a Japanese chamfer plane. A round sole spoke shave will allow me to chamfer all of the curved pieces. So now it's time to start sanding the top. These high spots where the boards come together, I'm going to take a pencil and just make marks across them like that. And then when I sand them, I'll be able to tell if both boards are flush. I'm going to start with 60 grit paper and then I'm going to switch to 120 and I'm going to end up with 150. All right, there it is. I've put chamfers on all the edges. I finished sanded it with 150 on the sanding block. All right, now it's time to apply the stain. Now, I'm not going to make a long, boring video of me wiping on stain and wiping stain off, but I just want to show you what I'm going to use to do the staining. I'm going to be using General Finishes Dye Stain. Dye Stain has no pigments in it, and it soaks into the wood and dyes the wood rather than putting solid pigments on the wood. This is water-based, so you have to make sure that you stay ahead of it because it dries very quickly. I'm going to be applying it with a foam brush, and I'm going to be wiping it off with a lint-free cotton rag. This table is made entirely of white oak, and yes, it's very heavy. I'm using a small artist brush and sealing the ebony plugs with shellac so the brown dye stain won't penetrate. I'm using General Finish's high performance water based top coat. I also use an HVLP sprayer. I spray four coats and lightly sand with 320 grit sandpaper between each coat. Check out the link above to see how I convert my shop into a spray booth. After the final clear coat has dried, I take a brown paper grocery bag and cut it into squares. I hand rub all the surfaces of the project. This will leave a glass smooth finish that everyone will love to touch. This was a fun build and I hope you enjoyed it. If so, hit that thumbs up button. Check out my other videos in these playlists. And remember, have fun with your woodworking and I'll see you in my next one.